Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Julie from the Santa Lucia Conservancy and we're going to read a book today that's called Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn by Canard Pack. It has beautiful pictures. And the reason I'm reading you this book is that's what's happening right now here along the Carmel River. It is late summer, happens to be very hot today, which happens sometimes in late summer heading into fall. Um, and our next season is fall. So this book is gonna show some of the changes that are going to be happening in nature. So here are some pictures at the beginning of our book where it says again, goodbye summer, hello autumn. And you might remember that I said the word fall. Autumn and fall are the same thing. And fall comes from the fact that the leaves are dropping their leaves. The leaves are falling. So our story is about a little girl. She's um, standing outside her house and she says, Hello, late summer morning. You might see that the trees are still green in this picture and the sun is very bright. She's going for a walk. She says, hello, trees. The trees say, hello. Now that the cool winds have come, we love how our branches sway in the sun. Sometimes when we're here by the river, the trees are moving in the leaves are rattling and it makes a wonderful whooshing sound. Today there's just the tiniest little breeze. As she walks through the forest she says, hello playful foxes and singing blue jays. Hello, they say, we are busy looking for food. Some of us are heading south to our winter homes. Do you see the squirrels? We have squirrels. We have blue jays and we have a different color fox that lives here called a gray fox. Hello, walking stick and butterflies. Do you see the hiding bug that looks like a twig? That's a walking stick. And they say, hello, we're surprised you saw us. We try our best to blend in and we'll do the same in warmer places. The butterfly looks like a leaf. So our little girl's walking on through the forest and she says, hello, beavers. Hello, chipmunks. And they say, hello. We have no time to play because we're making cozy nests and dens. It will be cold soon and we want to get ready. Hello, flowers. Hello, we are leaning into the sun, enjoying the last summer rays. Some of us, like asters and flocks, are late bloomers. We make the end of the season even more colorful. Hello, breezy wind. Hello, I love to whoosh, drizzle, and leaves through the misty streets. It's not that kind of day today, but as the seasons change, it will be calm, windier, and stormier. Hello, chill in the air. Hello, it's time to bring out your thick sweaters and scarves. Hello, puddle. Hello. Now that the wind has come, I often get covered with fallen leaves. Look at that. Hello, leaves. Hello, we are changing our colors. Some of us turn red or brown, while others turn gold or yellow. The dogwood leaves turn purple. Oh, big orange sun. Hello. I am setting earlier and earlier now that summer is coming to an end, but I will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye, summer. Oh, look at all our little creatures tucked away for the night. Our squirrel with his acorns, our blue jays in the tree, the fox in his den. And here is our town with the forest at nighttime. And you see the trees have lost most of their leaves. And here she is back at her house several months later. Hello, Autumn. It looks very different in the forest now. And that's what's going to be happening here also. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story had beautiful pictures, but now we're going to go on a little walk here along the Carmel River and look at what the animals and the birds and the leaves are doing right here in your own very backyard. 
As summer turns into fall along our creeks and rivers, you can see that there are lots and lots of trees. Some of those trees stay green all year, but some of them have a special name. They're called deciduous, and their leaves will turn all different colors in the fall and then fall to the ground. That's where that word comes from. And since it hasn't rained for a long time, our rivers and creeks are also getting very small. So what are some of our wild creatures doing during this season of summer turning into fall? Let's find out. Baby toads come from the eggs that are laid in the water in the summer and they are coming onto land now. Our scrub jays are busy looking for food, fattening up on ripe acorns to prepare for winter. Gray foxes hunt small animals, but in the fall, they switch their diet over to some of the many seeds that are available to them, like these coffee berries. Our western gray squirrel, like the one in our story, is getting ready for winter by burying nuts that it gets from inside of these pine trees. Look at all that's left behind from a pine cone when they're done with it. We have flowers that bloom here in late summer and early fall also. This is a monkey flower and a thistle flower with a bug in it. Fall flowers are not only pretty for us to see, but they provide a really important food for things like the swallowtail butterfly. And do you see the bee? They are getting food from these flowers. The thistle is like the only restaurant open in town. Here's a cloudless sulfur enjoying some food. So this is how butterflies get their food. He's got long antenna you might be able to see. He's also got a tongue that he has unrolled and I can actually see him sticking that tongue, the fancy word is a proboscis, down inside the flower. Just like in the story, we have stick bugs here. They're very good at camouflaging themselves in the forest. In the fall, ladybugs find a cool canyon and they all pile up together to stay warm. They like making blankets for each other until spring. The banded garden spider looks scary, but you know what they are? They are a Halloween decoration. We only see them out in October and November. They don't bite us, but they're good at catching bugs in that web. As fall comes, our hills turn yellow from the grass that has finished its life cycle, and the leaves of the cottonwood tree turn a beautiful golden color. They used to be green, and here are the rest of the leaves that haven't fallen yet, next to the river. Nature provides a lot of food, like an acorn, and oh my gosh, the colors of poison oak, the colors of our deciduous trees that turn off the green, so you can see the orange and the reds and the yellows that were there all along, but now we can see them. So as summer leaves us and fall approaches, I hope you will all have a chance to see some of these beautiful changes and enjoy summer becoming autumn.